Hello and welcome to today's video. So on the workbench today we have a pair of NLG 513 battery chargers. Uh, the one up here in front is mine. The one back here is the actual device that we're going to test. It's in for test and repair, serial number 4733. And um, because this involves CAN bus and uh, we've got a bunch of stuff going on here, it takes a lot to get one of these up and running. I wanted to make sure that my test setup was working perfectly fine with mine first, my known good one. So uh, yeah, we've got the uh, output going around over to the capacitor of Doom. Uh, we're just using this as a filter because uh, we don't actually have a battery pack to hook up to it. And then uh, it goes through all that. It's it's actually not plugged in, so we're, we're just using the capacitor for filtering. And then our load is uh, three light bulbs here, incandescent bulbs. And we have a 72 watt, a 60 watt, and a, another 72 watt uh, halogens. Uh, we've got the voltmeter hooked up across there very sketchily. Um, don't try this at home. We have the pack sniffer two. One side is hooked over, uh, one, one side of the CAN bus, or it has both CAN buses on here. One side is hooked up around over here, goes in through up into there. And then the other CAN bus goes over around and plugs into our uh, battery pack simulator uh, because the code that's written in here expects a battery pack to be hooked up to charge. So we're kind of tricking it. Like I said, this is one of the reasons why I want to make sure that my entire setup was correct. Uh, we've also got um, coming out of here, going to the serial port over the laptop. And uh, so we've got uh, their little hyper terminal, or I guess I'm using putty. Uh, monitoring program. You can see we've got some uh, errors and warnings down at the bottom and uh, right uh, right there. And that's because uh, this isn't powered yet. So we're not sending any CAN messages to it. So I believe all we got to do is flip this on and let the uh, pack sniffer 2 boot up. And uh, we found our battery charger. That's good. So we're getting can packets, and that's the uh, mains voltage there, which we are on. Uh, we are on 240. So the plug on the right is connected to 240. You can see it goes over there. So that's bridge rectified AC. Uh, these are all fake values coming from the uh, fake battery pack. And precharge it, connect, even though we're not using it. I'm going to start the charger, and yep, that got bright. So we're putting out uh, 156 volts, and I think I told it to do 156 at five, up to five amps, and yeah, 156, 2.1 amps. And if we look over here, try to get rid of the glare from the lights. Yeah, 156 actual two and a half amps. Yeah, uh, I set it for 156 at five and we're hitting the 156 volts. So it's backing off on the current. So it looks like that's all working. So that's incredibly bright. Uh, <laughs> we can go ahead and shut that off. So I'll just kill power to the pack sniffer. That should turn everything off. And uh, yeah, so it looks like my test setup is working. Um, so yeah, I guess what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and we'll switch over to the other battery charger and see if we can't get that to do the exact same thing. All right, hold on. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I've swapped over to the uh, other battery charger. This is the one the customer sent in for test and repair. And uh, we're talking to it. So serial is working. And uh, yeah, so it's the exact same setup. The only thing we did was swap the cables and I took the other one out. So we'll do the same thing. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And let the uh, pack sniffer 2 boot up. That's good. We found it. Means the voltage looks good. We should find our leaf pack since it's right there.
And of course our high voltage bus is zero because we don't actually have a battery. So let's see if we start it up. There it goes. Getting uh, 156 volts, if you can read that so bright. This says that uh, 156, two and a half amps. And if we come over here, 156, 2.35, 2.5, yeah, charger current. Yeah, I'd say, uh, I'd say it's working perfectly fine. So my guess is the problem is on the vehicle side. It is not on the charger. So yeah. <laughs> And not too bad. They agree. <laughs> hey, well, anyways, um, yeah, looks like this is good. Thanks for watching. Bye.